Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're back working on the TA03RS chassis, which I swapped to the GT2 body. And as you can see, uh, it's been about two, three weeks, and I haven't done anything. And all the jobs are backing up, and I'm itching to get my hands on the Knight Customs sand rail swap with the wild one that's in. And I don't want to pass this on to do that. I want to get this finished. I hate jumping onto the next project while it's kind of half finished. The, the chassis is all done, so I've just got to cut out the body, paint it up. Now there is some good news, and that is I've decided to do a road car. Yes, I don't actually have a single road car. They're all liveried up like rally cars or, or road race cars. Also, I'm gonna do it in red. My One of my favorite colors from Tamu is PS15, metallic red. It really pops and it's very vibrant. I don't actually have a road red car either. So there's two things, one, that color, and two, doing it as a road car. The biggest challenge with this body is getting the correct wheel alignment. The offset is so important in this because it's so fat at the back. And the wheels that come with the Porsche GT1, even though that is again a very wide car, are not wide enough. Now I did about three weeks ago put in for some MST wheels that are adjustable and they're my favorites and they refunded me. So I've got to sort out getting some wheels for this and that is gonna be the biggest challenge to make the car look Mwah. Anyway, what we're gonna do first, well, we've got to cut out the body, give it a good wash. Then we've got to cut out the window decals, stick them in. Shouldn't be too much of a problem painting up as everything is one color really. So I'll paint it up in the red, then I'll probably back it in a bit of white and then I'll back it in black. That's normally what I do. I like burning through my paints and I love spending hours painting bodies. <laughs> right, let's crack on and cut it out. In a blink of an eye, we have a cutout body. It's not finished, but it's close enough for me to now set up the height to get me in the ballpark. It's easier than doing it once it's painted. Otherwise you've got to take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. Um, I've got to go around now and I've got to sand everything down to get those edges lovely and smooth. So when you paint it, it looks as professional as possible. That takes a little bit of time. So I try to cut with my scissors as close to the line as possible. The key is to take your time and don't hack at it. Never click completely with the scissors, otherwise you put in a little cross crack. You don't want that because it means it splits down the line. All we've got to do, finish sanding it, then I'm going to give it a good clean, then we've got to put the window mask in, and then we move on to painting it. While I was cutting this out, another body set turned up today. So at the end of the video, we're going to open it up and I'm going to show you that as well as a bit of a treat. Right, let's crack on. For washing my bodies, I use washing up liquid. Doesn't have to be fairy, it can be anything. Works brilliantly, gets all the grease off the body. Putting the window masks in, super easy, loads of space. The window masks fit perfectly. Tamir, obviously, I just stick to the red line that goes around and you just put them in. The little technique of cutting a corner out, sticking it on and then peeling the backing off works brilliantly. Highly recommend doing it that way. Two hours later. So that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. There is a lot to do with the kit, the way that the body kit is fitted to the actual car. There's lots of little sticky out bits and edges and this rear bumper getting this nice sharp edge along the bottom is harder than you think because it doesn't just end in a line, it's a curve that just finishes. If you actually look at the real car, it's exactly like that. So to get this sort of soft edge finish takes a lot, especially to try and get it even on both sides. And then you've got little sticky out bits around the front bumper as well that all needs to be dialed in perfectly and you've got to get it nice and straight. You don't want any wobble. Now this body come with the uh, body holes already so I've just put some tape over them to stop some overspray going through and getting on my arm really. This body does have a protective film on it but when you're holding it up you tend to spray through the hole and you get it here. Right it's all cleaned ready to go and it actually stopped raining so we're going to dive out now and paint it up. Well, we finally made some progress and after putting down the color, I then backed it in white. And then after the white, I backed it in black as I like the dark inside. Plus I think it looks much more professional when you're done that you put the effort in. It does make the bodies a little bit heavier and obviously a lot more expensive because you're burning through more paint. I did have one issue apart from it being sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy. And that was a fly decided to get straight into the paint when I was putting down the red and you could actually see it come through on the arch. So what I did was, and I'll go through it in a bit more detail because I don't think I've ever covered it on the show, is how do you deal with a problem area? 
and I've seen some people and it can be a problem area from a run it can be a overspray where you spray like a white and then you spray a different color and then you get a bit of ghosting in an area where you didn't mask it off properly so you can see it in the white and you think it's ruined your body now depending on how big it is it will work on larger areas but it just becomes a bit more time consuming and a bit more of a faff and the, you might think it's not worth it but the small things like a run or a fly in in your paintwork or one troubled area that's ruining your whole body what you can do is get your Tamiya polycarbonate cleaner it's a pain to get hold of and it's expensive but it just works brilliantly is you then cut back that area you just get a cotton bud whatever you want to call it and you just remove the area don't pile it on dip it cotton bud in and then dry it off a little bit and then just rub that area until you've removed it all then let it dry a little bit then you can just blow it over and it will come back and fill in the paint and it will take about four or five coats to actually bring up that little layer because don't forget you put three or four layers down already and then you're cutting it back and then when you put one layer on you'll still see it but just keep persevering with it putting a few more on don't go crazy in one area just put normal coats on like you would and it will build back up and you will lose it and then when you back it in your white or your or whatever you're going to back it in it will look perfectly fine Fine. I've saved many bodies like that so I can highly recommend it and yes it does work on metallic as this is a metallic and it's totally disappeared so that is definitely one if you've got a problem area anyway right what we've got to do next next we've just got to smoke the windows also I've noticed on this kit the actual boiler is a modified version for a race car it's not the standard one that you got on the road car it's got this extra height on the sides so what I'm going to do is modify the spoiler put it back to being a standard road car version otherwise it won't really work with what i'm trying to go for so we've got to modify that as well right let's carry on as you can see from the picture the road car doesn't have the extra tabs that stick up so you have to remove them if you want to do a road car i then decided i would glue it all together and sand out all the joints as you can see you get two screw holes on each end which i wanted to get rid of so i filled them and made a right mess <laughs> <laughs> it's not very professional but we got there in the end then you sand it all off and that gets rid of all your join marks you just got to take your time with sanding one thing that i can highly recommend is filler primer it gives you that real lovely finish next i moved on to smoking the windows i put down three layers of smoke which is ps31 only three layers because i want it to be a road car but i wanted you to be able to see through the windows then the fun part of actually removing the protective layer and as you can see super happy with it come out beautiful love the metallic and i had no issues in the paintwork whatsoever the back of the car looks kind of funny and quirky without the spoiler on it but once you fit the spoiler it all kind of makes sense now it's time to put the decals on i need to do something about the front headlights it really could do with some buckets I did like the extra touch of having the big cooler underneath the rear spoiler so when you look through the rear spoiler you actually can see it. One thing I noticed is when you put the rear sticker on for the window they have a clear section and the problem with that is it kind of gives you this weird effect but if you take your time with a scalpel you can cut around it and then remove it and then it looks like all the other windows so it's definitely worth putting the effort in to do that. I'm not sure about the front or spoiler bit I'll probably delete that as you don't normally see it on the road car just test fitting the spoiler as you can see it's all looking lovely waiting for paint but unfortunately I ran out of paint so I'll have to order some more these MST gold wheels are purely on the car just to get the offset right and to make sure I'm happy with it then I fitted these fantastic little body pins that really add another level of detail so we've come quite far but yet we haven't finished it yes i will paint up the spoiler it's not staying that color i've run out of ps15 like i said and in the next episode we will paint it up detail it and lacquer it to match the rest of the car <laughs> on the next episode as well we're going to do all the shut lines as this body has these 
uh, massive wheel arches on it. They're bolt-on on the real car, so you've got to edge all those as well to make it look real. Plus, you want to put more detail on a road car because you don't have all the decals and stickers. It can look a bit bland. So I'll go around and do that in the next episode. I've ordered some MST wheels. I've been messing around with these gold ones because I wanted to get the offset right and make sure that they work how I like it because on this car, you really want to get the offset right. Otherwise, they, they're too far in and it just looks naff. And they do work, so I've ordered them they're not gold they're going to be a sort of blackish color but we'll have to wait and see on the next episode hopefully they'll come soon also got to hunt down some road tires for it as well obviously wouldn't have slicks being a road car the rear is just crying out for some exhaust pipes now one thing i did notice when you're cutting out this body the cut lines are around the bumper so that you can have exhausts when you go to put your stickers on the stickers obviously need that bit of plastic so if you're going to cut one of these bodies out don't just follow the cut line like i did it doesn't really show you in the manual either because you can't use the stickers another thing i want to do is fit some number plates as i want to add more detail this kind of like holder one looks pretty naff um, so I'll get hold of some road number plates, probably German ones, or maybe some UK ones. I'll see what I can find. So we've still got a way to go, but I'm super happy with it. I'm really glad I went with this color as it's like no other car I've got. So before we call it a day, I did say that we will open up and take a look at another body set that I have that's coming to the show soon. Well, soonish, and I'm gonna open it now so you can have a look. And it is a good one. It's quite a rare one, that's for sure. And I'm super chuffed that I could get it. And it is, well, the decals I had already, but that should give you a hint if you know your bodies. And it is the Porsche 934. I managed to get a hold of a light bucket, a rear spoiler, and I got a new body. Not only that, I also got the decals for it. So I have everything so I can do I'm thinking I'll probably go with the Jägermaster. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Jägermaster, Jäger, whatever. The red one, I'll put a picture up here. I might get one of those, or I might use these decals and do the black. We'll just have to play see. I'm not overly sold on the black. I think it's a bit bland. So I'll probably lean towards doing the red uh, Vibrant Jägermaster one. But I don't have those decals. So what I might have to do is sell these decals or just buy them if I can find them. So if you've got the 934 decals for the Jägermeister, whatever it's pronounced, sorry, get in contact, let me know how much you want for them or if you want to trade them for these ones. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss the next installment of the Porsche GT2.